It was billed as the party of the century, an alcohol-free festival of freedom just north of Nelson. But for some, the party ended in hypothermia. Garth Bray has more on the gathering. They came to the gathering to dance past dawn, but they didn't expect it would become a rain dance. Basically, it's been raining pretty much solidly for that whole time. Some, sometimes it's been quite light rain, and on the night of the first, it actually stopped raining for a while. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much been solid rain. And, of course, today, <laughs> it's beautiful again. That didn't deter 9,000 gatherers, but 40 others had it harder still. Cold and tired, they were bussed off the hill to Mochueka, where St John's treated them for mild hypothermia. By the end of the party, there were some people who'd been dancing in the rain for just a bit too long, and they got just a bit too cold. Many who made their own way off the hill arrived in Nelson with nowhere to stay. They turned to the Salvation Army, who put Y2K planning into action. What none of us were prepared for was three constant days of rain. And that was the thing that I think really got to them. With Nelson accommodation full to bursting, it was back to school. Dormitories at Nelson College sheltering 100. Because you're right up in the cloud, and it was just freezing. Dancing made you warm, so you just if you kept up dancing, then you're fine. The two-day party leaving some with plenty of sleep to catch up on, and for others, a few lessons. Before I went, Mum was like, oh, you know, take warm clothes and sort of nagging and stuff. Garth Bray, One News.